Yeah, yeah, I know. I know what you're thinking. Another video about AI supercharged super duper duper charge yeah here's the deal i love ai and i love note taking however when it comes to it i get frustrated with like the basic functionality of a lot of different ai tools because it takes a lot of work in order to get what you want to be what you need and where you want it to be isn't always easy to get there but that's why i'm here for you and that's why fathom is here to sponsor this video as well to show you how to take your notes and turn them to flawless executable AI enhanced super notes. All right, in all seriousness, this video is a video just showing a really quick workflow that I put together using Fathom and Zapier plus make.com. So for those of you that are unaware, I'm a huge fan of Notion, automation, AI, and the works. And this is just gonna be a quick breakdown as to how I take some of my notes in Fathom, which is a really great note-taking tool that can essentially record videos, transcribe, calls and create AI summaries of conversations. And rather than needing to go through a bunch of different prompt scripting, I actually have built out this entire automation that allows me to interact with this conversation that I had in the front end experience that I use text cortex. So text cortex is actually my kind of chat GPT or Claude. It has knowledge bases. It has personas. It has a bunch of really cool tools. And essentially what I've done is I've made a really cool workflow where it starts in Zapier, where essentially after a meeting ends, right? So this meeting ends with the crew of us. I essentially can utilize this make.com and Zapier automation where when a new transcript is triggered in Fathom. As you can see, there's this meeting with Olga here. What I do is I essentially push through a webhook with the transcript, the time, the meeting title, etc. And I'm gonna just show you really quick how this test works, how this automation works. I'm gonna send you a quick test example. And what happens is the transcript ends up getting pushed through a prompt sequence here, where this make.com automation has a three step setup. The rest of it is pretty advanced and I don't want to get into all that. This is essentially just a really easy system for taking notes and a summary or transcription and essentially creating a really nice, easy to retrieve document that you can put inside of a knowledge base. As you can see, this is a meeting title, date, recording link, etc. that then gets formatted into a long summary with key points extracted, action items, topic breakdowns, all of the works pretty instantly. And then from there, what happens is this gets uploaded to my Google Drive and Google Drive is not something that really interacts with a lot of other products in the AI realm immediately. So what Text Cortex has is a cool knowledge base setup where essentially meetings and those information in meetings can be uploaded right here. So that Google link then it gets turned into a PDF. I download it essentially to grab it and then I upload that PDF to Text Cortex. And that's where you see all of these different ones here. So this is a step-by-step -step process. I can use this meeting as an example. However, there's a bunch of other meetings that are longer and more effective that I can show you how it works real quick. And this is the ultimate AI note-taking superpower because rather than you know, interacting with it just inside of a platform like Fathom, which is great, and only dealing with that specific summary, I could actually take it a step further and ask multiple questions about many meetings in one fell swoop, because this makes it the ultimate AI note taker. So for example, I just have to grab this knowledge base here and I go to meetings and I can say, can you give me a breakdown of all the internal meetings that were held last week? This is a breakdown of all of them. Okay, wow. This is really cool. So I can see all the meetings that I had last week. Look at that. I can click on one of these and you'll see that there's PDFs attached. This is crazy. So I can see all the key points, the action items, the topic breakdowns. Can I have a detailed breakdown of the EOW manager sync on March 21st? Okay. So we have the Notion meeting link here, which is really cool. So we have the participants, the conference call, got the event link so I can see when it happened. Very, very cool. Love that, okay. So we got all of that brought together here. Now, obviously I can add the recording link to this and I can ask Text Cortex for those recording links, which is really cool as well. And like it shows here, I can say, what were the key points discussed in that EOW call? Just asking questions about it. Streamlining rules to avoid redundancy and improve efficiency, time zone differences affecting. Okay, so let's do this. What I can do now with that context is I can say internet. Okay, please, based off of these issues discussed 
and I also have my business structure as a knowledge base in here, I wanna get some ideas. So I can be like, based off of these issues discussed, can you please help me with some workflow improvements to reduce the overlap between the process of the technical writers and the A roll recorders to get the majority of the work on the technical writers plates. So the reason for this is essentially I have people who are starting to write scripts for me and we're trying to figure out how I can optimize that. And you can see here what ends up happening is it then can take the context of the conversation and give me insights as to what you know, I made an example business chart and it's giving me great insight as to the conversation we had relative to, you know, ideas we threw around for the scripting, whatnot, and then is giving me better workflow improvements. This is completely different than just interacting with Fathom itself. It's nice to interact with it and this is a good product and I appreciate the fact that we're using it, but rather than just interacting with that product, there's more context that can be here. You can add knowledge, you can search the internet. This is the nice thing about having a base of a transcript or recording link and then interacting with that stuff in a different uh, chat or AI to get more context. So for example, I can have some technical writers create more comprehensive pre-production packages that include detailed scripts with timing marks, storyboards for visual sequencing, sample screen recordings, cool. Standardized script templates, that's a good idea. Batch processing, that's always good to basically do a bunch of stuff at once. Technical pre-production, yeah, that's fair. Technical demonstrations prior to giving it to the A-roll creators, clear department boundaries. Okay, this is all good ideas. So basically with the concepts inside of my system, it also can search the internet here in Text Cortex as can ChatGPT and stuff like that. I can take insights from the meeting. I can expand from the meeting. I'm not stuck in the context of the meeting. Sure, I can always get my questions answered by going inside of Fathom, that's great, but sometimes it's good to just go above and beyond and then I could easily utilize this product to grab it, put it inside my Notion, put it inside whatever platform I want in order to have it be a note taker. I'm actually not of the camp that thinks utilizing like the AI tool and like a notion or a ClickUp or whatever it is, is actually that good. Most of those are just poorly podgepodge together. ChatGPT for, in some cases, still 3.5. I feel like that is interacting with what's inside of your notes. And that's cool, but it doesn't really go above and beyond. It can't interact with a higher level of model. Whereas like Text Cortex can use Claude, Grok, on the higher levels of thinking, DeepSeek, O3, O1, Mini and O1. I can add more color to it with the other knowledge that can exist inside of this. So if you're looking for a more advanced workflow, I really recommend you trying out Fathom as a starting point for recordings and for transcripts, utilizing Zapier, Make.com and those tools to connect it all together into something like Text Cortex or other AI tools. So if you're looking for more tips and tricks on how to improve your productivity, please make sure to check out the other content on my channel. We do a lot of that here and make sure to click that link down below to try out Fathom today. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.